Hi, I am Yashika from Besant Technologies. We saw about the history of AWS and how to create an AWS account in a last video. So if you have any questions, please feel free to comment in the comment section. Also, if you want to learn further about AWS, please contact your nearest Besant Technologies branch. Thank you. In this video, we are going to talk about the, just I am going to give you a brief introduction to AWS and mainly we are going to talk about the AWS global infrastructure so the AWS once you log into your, we, last time we created an AWS account so once you log into the console in the right once you look the first page is gonna be a page that is filled with services so that is we have all the list of services listed in the main page so let me tell you what are the main services available in AWS the first thing is the AWS AWS global infrastructure it is nothing but the regions and the availability zones in the globe in and around the globe on which the AWS is based so that is the AWS global infrastructure on top of it we have various services that is these are not all the services listed just the main topics that is the compute services like EC2 etc storage and then like S3 comes under storage in data base we have redshift that is used for data warehousing we already saw that in the history of AWS then migration and transfer services wherein we have something called snowball then media services machine learning robotics developer tools network and content delivery this is where VPC comes in blockchain satellite services management and governance services analytics analytics data Data analytics services business apps and then your security identity and compliance like how you manage users within your AWS account then mobile services then comes AR and VR augmented versus augmented reality and virtual reality then customer management services then desktop and app streaming services application integration services then AWS cost management service and IOT and game, game development. I have just listed the topics of the few services. We need not learn everything for your solutions architect associate exam. You just need to know the few basic services and most important ones and you also need to know the basics of what the other services do on a high level. So we will be learning about that throughout the course. So before we move on further let me talk about the AWS global infrastructure. The AWS Global Infrastructure, as of 2018, December 2018, AWS is put, up, is put up around 20 regions and then 61 availability zone. The Global Infrastructure has four components, that is regions, availability zones, locality and edge locations. So what is the region? Region is nothing but a geographical area wherein the AWS is based, the base is put up. So so it has the independent collection of AWS resources within a defined geography that is called as region. Next comes availability zone. Availability zone, just think of availability zone as a data center. So if availability zone, if the data centers are really close to each other, they can be considered as a single availability zone. So availability zone can be made up of one single data center or more than one data centers. So within a region we will be having many availability zones. These availability zones are not dependent on each other which means they are independent of each other. They are not connected with each other. So what happens in case there is a natural calamity and there is a one availability zone failure. If they are connected to each other it's going to be a problem. So automatically the next availability zone will take up the resource. Then within the availability zone, we have something called as locality where the AWS is put up. Then we have something called as edge location. Edge location is where the end users will access the services in the AWS. Say for example, AWS uses this edge location 
service called as cloud front cloud front or content delivery network is the service that is used by aws say for example where this comes into picture there's a person um, say mr x he sits in usa and he wants to download some video say abc video abc video that was actually hosted in india so what happens when he first accesses this video first time it has to travel all the way from india to us so the time is going to be high so next time when mr say mr y wants to access this same abc video who is also sits in the us he will not be have taking so much time as mr x why because this this abc video will be cached in a in a location that is called as edge location it will be cached in this edge location so that mr y will not be having any latency to see this abc video so this is all about edge locations then when you lo just log on you can just log on to your aws site wherein you, they will be having the different continents where they are put up say if you go on to north american continent they will be showing all the regions that where aws is put up in north america it will be um, they will also show wh what are the availability zones in north america and also the edge locations in north america along with the region when you see in north america there will be something called as gov cloud region this gov cloud region is used for only security compliance purpose by us officials or used only by the citizens of us it is a specific cloud that is granted to uh, the united states so region wise we can see continent wise the different regions edge locations and the availability zones thank you